All right, guys. Glory Segral here, and today I have yet another Warframe video for you guys running on Linux on Wine Staging. This time, it's in DirectX 11. It runs great. There's no missing textures, and there's no stuttering. Yay! Also, the launcher is fixed. There's no boot loop. Um, in my previous video, which was a couple months ago, right after I had released that video, which was running on Warframe staging, or Wine Staging 2.7 at the time, they released Wine Staging 2.8, which changed the way that batch, ha batch scripts are handled. So I had to go back and change the launcher, as well as a couple other things in the launcher, which I'll jump into. Um, again, I'm starting. Sorry if I'm congested. My my sinuses have all been messed up. But anyway, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into that, and I'll show you some of the changes. And it works great now. We can finally, finally play Warframe on Linux without anything missing or without anything being screwed up or without any, like, it just, it's such a relief. It's been such a long time, but it finally works. Thank you. And all the, all the people that have been developing on, on Wine and Wine Staging, thank you if you happen to see this video. So on that note, we'll go ahead and jump in here. So you'll first want to go to Lutris. And you go to games, then you'll go to search Warframe. And it'll bring up this page, click here, and you hit install, and you open it. Now, if you don't want to do that, or if you're just really lazy like me, you'll just open up a terminal, and you'll do, uh, hold on a second, let me make sure that, okay. We're gonna go ahead and remove my previous install here. Let me make sure I have my data backed up before I do that. Games, Warframe, Drive C, Program Files, Warframe, downloaded. Let me make sure this is the right one. It should be. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to move this. I want to make sure I have this so that I can show you guys how to uh, copy the game files for easier um, installation. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove this one so I can re show it to you guys. All right, so that's done. Now we're in this one. We're gonna do uh, Lutris Warframe. Boop! There it is. Comes up. Hit install. Or continue. Install. It'll do its thing. While it's doing that, let me walk, walk you guys through the uh, the launcher and what the launcher does. So this is my GitHub repository. It's GloriousEggRoll slash Warframe dash Linux. Um. This is the launcher batch script, and what it does is it'll first check if warframe.msi exists. If it does, it deletes it. Same thing with launcher.exe. If it exists, it does, it deletes it. Um, the reason is we want the newest versions of both of those, and warframe.msi usually tries to replace launcher.exe. And we need the newest version of warframe.msi in order to get the new version of launcher.exe. So it checks and deletes those. And then it downloads the newest version automatically from their website for warframe.msi. Um, it's not a big file, so no worries about that. But it does do this every single time that you try to launch the game. So just be aware of that for data cap reasons or whatnot. Um, check for file. Um, if it does find warframe.msi, then it goes down here and it runs the, the black box updater that was in my last video. And I'll show you that when it comes up and then it runs the actual official launcher. If it doesn't find it, it waits 10 seconds before trying to find it. And you know, if it doesn't find it, then it, it just keeps waiting for 10 seconds and another 10 seconds or so until it's finished downloading. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and launch the game here. It should be, no, well, it's near finished. Now, if you're wondering, that black box, the reason we have to run the black box is because Warframe's launcher, when it tries to update the game, sometimes it will disconnect from whatever server it's downloading from for whatever reason, or sometimes it'll tell you that the data's corrupt or whatever X Y Z reason. It'll try and it'll either like fail or the data will be corrupted or some other stupid crap. So in order to prevent that, we run this black box launcher, which updates all of the game files except Warframe.exe because that's what it's running in order to update the game. Warframe.exe is actually used to update the game. That's what the launcher uses to update the game. So we run that, 
pops black box up, updates the game, closes out, and then it runs warframe.msi. And warframe.msi then updates launcher.exe as well as warframe.exe. And that way we get our entire game updated. So this should be finished. Yep, there it is. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit launch game. And it'll wait. It'll take a minute to do this because, like I said, it's got to check for these and delete them and then download the new one. Once it finishes downloading the new one, it'll launch that black box. There it is. There's a black box. Wait for it to start doing its thing here. There it goes. And like I said, it'll, it'll just keep an eye on that and I'll show you a percentage of it, how it's complete or not. Now we already have game files, which may be the case for a lot of other people. So I'm going to show you guys how to copy your game files from an existing game or existing install. Uh, you can close this out, wait for it because it's going to try and open the um, Warframe MSI here, like it just did here. Hit I agree, hit I agree and then it's going to try and download the game normally like it does. At this point you just close it out and OK. And like I said, that doesn't work which is why we need the black box to run before that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our, our game files here. Now I have this game, this uh, downloaded folder here which is usually found in the Warframe directory and what we're going to do is we're going to go to Drive C, Program Files, Warframe and Paste. And we're going to write into, apply all, write into, apply all, overwrite. Now, um, in order to get to this file, this is our this is our wine prefix. In order to get here, you can normally just right click this and hit browse. Um, I just reinstalled KDE not too long ago, so I haven't configured something for that yet. So in that case, I'll show you. It just goes to home, games. Warframe, Drive C, Program Files, Warframe. And this is where your Lutris wine, Lutris <laughs> wine prefix is for Warframe. Um, if you have a pre-existing install and you need the downloaded folder, uh, where it is is, for example, me. I have storage, games, MMOs, Warframe, and this would be where all the Warframe files are. I only have the downloaded folder here because it's all I've ever used it for. Um, but yeah, you just want this downloaded folder put into your uh, Warframe folder or your Warframe wine prefix. Warframe, drive C, files, Warframe, download. Okay. So once you copy that over, go ahead and hit uh, play again here. The black box will pop up and it'll start to update and it'll basically just check everything and then skip downloading anything else and then open the launcher. And also, like I said, I've also made a non lutris installer for this and I'll go through that. That should help for anybody that's on different distros or doesn't like Lutris or Lutris doesn't run for whatever reason on their system. So there's a black box popped up, checked everything. It's like, okay, it's good. We don't have to download anything. Then this will launch and it'll check for new content and then it'll tell you it's up to date. eventually. There it goes. Warframe is up to date. Hit play. Here we go. Ta-da. All right. Let's go ahead and log in here. Great. Wonderful. All right. We'll jump into a mission here. Now, um, like I said, my I've got a I've got ee.cfg that installs for this and what that does is it, it automatically sets the the settings for the graphics that you need that will run the game the best as far as performance goes. And I'll show you what you need to keep enabled or disabled. There's not too much. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do private matchmaking. Uh, too late. We're going. We're going. We're going into a mission. 
That's one thing that drives me nuts is that it always starts you off with public matchmaking instead of solo. Alright, so yeah, we're in the game. Hooray! Um, you know, when you log in, when you first load into the game, it may take a second or two to uh, just get everything loaded. But, look at this. Everything runs. I mean, we jumped right into the action here. And, um, everything is running really, really smooth. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh, how did I miss that? Besides the fact that I'm terrible at this game, uh, it does run well. It runs very well. There's a lot of bad guys in here. Alright, let me kill them and then I'll jump into the graphic settings. Alright. Ah! They shoot me! Stop it! Are we good now? Are we safe? Are we in the safety zone? I think we are. Alright. So we'll go to our options here. Go to display. And... We can do borderless full screen. Confirm, it's easier. Yeah, that's that works too now. We can change it to borderless full screen with no problem. Something else is attacking me, I don't care. Go back to our display. Okay, so uh, runtime tessellation actually works. Um, local reflections, you need to keep these off because sometimes they will cause missing or abnormal textures just because it's trying to render reflections and it doesn't work properly. Uh, all of this is fine. You can um, you want to keep high dynamic range on because that messes with the lighting if you have that off. Uh, these guys are attacking me again. Um, these you can change all of these to whatever you want. They all work great. I have I can watch this. I'll crank them all. Up. I'll crank them all up. I have a I have just be aware. I have a GTX 1080, so this um does work perfectly fine for me, but you'll want to set these to whatever works best for your system. Um, depth of field and motion blur. Keep these off because blurring causes stuttering and uh, doesn't, motion blur in particular doesn't render properly. It permanently blurs your character. So you'll want to keep that off. Uh, the rest of this shit we can turn off. Stuff. Sorry. I, I hope I don't have to edit that. Really? Really game? Alright, come on. Alright, back alive. Everything is max settings. Please don't kill me. Please. Am I in a safety zone yet? Are we safe? Just want to double check and make sure everything's good. Um, I don't think I have my compositor on, so we're going to turn vertical sync on. I think I turned the compositor off um, to test something else earlier. So we'll do that. But yeah. As you can see, apart from those like three or four settings, everything else Runs great, looks great. Game runs super, super smooth. Don't have any missing weird textures or anything like that. Let's change weapons. Please don't kill me. This is also a new frame. Um, I just got this frame from the Twitch freebies not too long ago and I barely have touched it since so I have no idea what I'm doing with this other than just hacking everybody up all right so that works yeah it works great I mean it works really really well let's go ahead and abort mission get out of here And I'll show you guys how to install it without Lutris. Quit. Yes. All right, so in the event that you don't want to use Lutris or don't have Lutris, in that case, what you would do is you would go to my Git repo and go over to releases and download warframe.zip. And then you would extract it somewhere. I already have done all of that, which is right here. Okay, so in that case, once you do that, you will then want to chmod the install script. So chmod ax 
install.sh and then run the install script. That slash install.sh. And it will basically do everything that Lutris did. It'll run your wine trick, set up your prefix. It's going to use whatever version of wine you have installed. So just uh, be aware of that. Which means, yes, you can use this with Wine Gallium 9. Um, I have an AMD card that's supposed to be coming in. Finally, I can do some testing on AMD cards for all you AMD users. Yay, yay. I'm actually really excited about it. It may or may not be a Vega card. Um, <laughs> I managed to get one from a buddy of mine for a good price, thank God, because there's no way in, on earth I would pay the stupid amount that they're charging for Vega cards at retail right now. But that's another story. So, um, yeah, once that comes in, we'll be able to do some testing on that, and I'll be able to show you guys that. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we just finished, got to the end of the install script here. It's going to ask you for your, your root password so that can create a shell script. This goes in user bin. So if you need to change it, I'll show you how to change it on the installer. Uh, yes, we want a menu shortcut. Yes, we want a desktop shortcut. All right, so the install is complete. Let's go ahead and go over to here real quick to our install script, and I'll show you where those are. For those of you who are on distri different distros or distros that have different paths, here's where you can change it. This is where um, you'll just want to, you'll want to change this here. If you have a different script folder besides user bin, you can change that here. Um, if you have a different desk uh, or a different menu path that you want it in, you can change it here rather than user share pa uh, applications. And if you want it in a different desktop folder, you can change that down here. So those are the three paths that it installs and that's why it asks for the root prompt. So be aware of that. So once that installs, if you've done everything correctly, you can either access it from your menu here, go to applications, games, and Warframe is right there. Or you can just type it in uh, the console here. We'll type it in the, nope, that's Lutris. We'll type it in the console here, just so you guys can see what's going on in the background. And this is the whole batch script that I told you about where it's, that's where it's downloading the Warframe.msi. And this is where it runs this Warframe.exe and it updates your game. Wait for it to do its thing. Here we go. Close it out. And then it's going to run the warframe.msi here. I agree. I agree. Same thing we did before. And close that out when it starts downloading. All right, and let's go ahead and control C to kill that. Uh, I forgot to put it, I guess that's fine. But um, yeah, you can just hit control C to exit it out if you need to. But, so in this case, what it did for you non lutris users is it installed Warframe into a wine prefix right here in your home path. And you can edit the install script for that too if you want but um, it's kind of all over the place here for this. Like anything that says home user Warframe, you'll have to change where it says home user Warframe to wherever else you want it installed. Let me close that for now. Um, yeah, and then once that's done, we'll go to our Warframe folder and again, drive C, program files, Warframe, and we'll go to get our pre-existing Warframe install files from whatever pre-existing install we have. Copy the downloaded folder. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Here we go. Games, Warframe, Drive C, Program Files, Warframe, downloaded. Cut. Paste. Write. Write overwrite. All right, so that's done, and then we can go ahead and launch Warframe again. Warframe. Like I said, you don't have to do it in console. Um, 
it does it gives you a desktop shortcut and an application shortcut we'll do it from the the menu here just in case just for something different there it goes we'll check all your files here your game data run through this then it'll tell you Warframe's good to go eventually there it goes Warframe's up to date hit play wait for this and get to the login screen hooray <laughs> All right, and there we go, right back again. Let's change this to solo this time, just in case, because <laughs> we kind of forgot to do that last time. Skip <laughs> cutscene. And there we go. Disabling the reactor core will cripple the enemy. Find it and take oh, it. Oh good. Okay, so yeah, again, like I said, there's no um no missing textures. Yay! Yay! So we can finally finally play Warframe on Linux as intended. We haven't been able to do this for the longest time because DirectX 11 hasn't worked until now. And just to show you guys, in particular, on DirectX 9, this panel right here, or this little piece of rock, had a missing texture the power source is deep in DirectX 9. But yeah, all fixed, all working, running super smooth. And this is without Lutris, like I said. You can run it either way. Both run very, very well. Just make sure you have wget and make sure you have wine staging installed 2.17 or higher. And you'll be good to go. I think even 215 or 216 will work, but the 217 just happened to be the one that I had installed. So there we go. And I'll show you guys. There's one other minor thing. Um, it's just optional, but you know some people may want to do it. Hit exit, please. Exit. Oh, quit game. There we go. Okay, so let's say that you have a card that may not be like the highest end card, but it has a good amount of um, memory on it, right? So you might want to change that. In this case, um, we'll start off with the non lutris version since we're already there. Uh, we would do wine prefix equals Warframe, and we do regedit. Okay, you're going to want to go to current user, software, wine, direct3d, find video memory size and change this to, let's say, for example, I have a GTX 1080 that has 8 gigs of RAM. You're going to want to do 1024 times the amount of RAM that you have in gigabytes. So let's go and calc and it's mine is 8192, I already know it is, but you do 1024 times 8 which will give you 8192. So we can 8192. Okay, so that's how you would do it there. And that just sets your video memory size. This is, this is useful, for example, like say you have uh, a six, gig, six gigabyte GTX 1060 or like a three gigabyte uh, GTX 1050 or something like that. Um, the default minimum required by Warframe is two gigabytes, which is why I had two gigabytes set when I set up the installer and the wine prefix and everything. But you can change that; it helps. Um, and then how to the same way to do it in Lutris. Uh, once you open Lutris, go to Wine, right-click Warframe, and hit Wine Registry. 
and it just navigates to the same place. Software, wine, direct 3D, view memory size, change it to whatever your multiplier was. Just like that. Okay, that's the last tip that I got. Um, you don't need to use, okay, so for those of you who like to tinker, I know they're out there because I'm the person, I'm one of those people that likes to tinker. Uh, you don't need to use Mesa P threads. I've tried it, it causes some graphical glitches. Um, so no Mesa P threads. Uh, I've tried shader cache. Shader cache, there's, there's not really any kind of difference whatsoever. So you can ignore using shader cache with Mesa. Um, you no longer need use GSL, GLSL disabled. Don't turn that on, especially if you use an AMD card, because if you turn if you turn that off and you use AMD, it will tell you that your graphics card isn't supported. So um, no, we're no longer using use GLSL disabled. Um, what else other performance things? Um, multi-threading, don't use the game's multi-threading. Um, like I said, I was having some graphical glitches when I enabled either the game's multi-threading or Mesa's P-thread multi-threading. So I disabled both of those and just enabled CSMT through um, through Wine, and when I did that, all th those those graphical glitches went away. So either it's either the game's multi-threading or uh, Mesa P threads. I'm gonna lean towards Mesa just because it's still kind of in development. But um, yeah, and like I said, I should be getting a, a an AMD card in here soon. I'll be able to try it with Gallium Nine, see if there's any performance difference or anything like that. Uh, if you guys already use Gallium 9, feel free to use it on Wine Staging 2.17. Let me know. So tell me if it works. Um, I hope this helped you guys out. I'm so glad that Warframe finally runs the way it's supposed to and we can finally play it. Um, if any of you guys are you know, Warframe developers or anything like that, uh, if you happen to see this video, all of us Linux nerds are coming. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Hope it helps.